In the proud tradition of all those who served before, the multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, has taken its place in the ranks of the U.S. Army. of a major weapon system, the official transfer from the builder to the U.S. Army, comes only after extensive testing to demonstrate that the weapon system actually does what it was designed to do. For MLRS, the critical operational milestone was OT-3, the full-scale field testing exercise by regular Army personnel. Since MLRS is an international system, crews from the Federal Republic of Germany and the United Kingdom also took part in the OT-3 operational tests. MLRS is the most powerful artillery system in the world. Fast, accurate, dependable. This system can fight on any battlefield from the Arctic to the equator. The self-contained launch vehicle has exceptional mobility for cross-country operations and can move out on prepared roads at better than 65 kilometers per hour. Loaded rocket pods are delivered to designated ammunition resupply sites by special ammunition resupply trucks. Six MLRS rockets, each containing 644 anti-materiel, anti-personnel munitions, are sealed inside each rocket pod. Extremely accurate, these rockets are effective at ranges in excess of 30 kilometers. The rocket launcher, after shooting its original 12 rocket load, immediately scoots to a nearby ammunition resupply site to reload. A three-man crew is normal for each launch vehicle. However, each crewman, the driver, the gunner, and the section chief, is cross-trained to perform all tasks if necessary. Therefore, thanks to the MLRS automated equipment, a reduced crew, or even a single crewman, can perform a complete fire mission, including loading and unloading. then drives either to a launch site or to a hiding position to await further orders. At the start of a typical fire mission, the fully loaded launch vehicle awaits its orders while hidden from view by a camouflage net. At the fire direction center, mission data are compiled for all available launchers. These data are normally transmitted by digital radio link directly from the computer in the fire direction center to the computer aboard the launch vehicle. However, mission data can also be relayed by radio voice network or by courier and then entered manually into the vehicle's fire control system. Since the onboard position Number determining one, system one, continuously pinpoints the launcher's exact geographical location, the only additional data needed are the map coordinates of the target and current meteorological information. The computer can then calculate the launcher's azimuth and elevation and the warhead fuse time for any chosen launch site.
its mission assigned, the launch vehicle immediately leaves its hidden site and proceeds directly overland to the designated firing site. the vehicle to the heading specified on the fire control panel display by the onboard computer and the crew prepares for firing since the launcher is automatically aimed by the onboard computer the crew remains safely inside the armored cab throughout the launch segment of the fire mission the gunner is prompted step by step through each operation of the firing sequence if the gunner makes a mistake, the computer instructs him to repeat those steps correctly. All messages are displayed in the language of the crew, be it English, French, German, or Italian. Other languages can be programmed into the computer if desired. When commanded by the gunner, the system automatically calculates the fire control solution, aims the launcher, and prompts the gunner to arm and to fire the selected rockets. In this firepower demonstration test against simulated targets, one MLRS launcher delivered 12 rounds containing nearly 8,000 M77 munitions in less than one minute. The target area was completely saturated. Every target element was hit by either an explosive charge or by blast fragmentation. Had this been a battlefield situation, this self-propelled artillery piece would be out of action. These petroleum supplies would never support the assault forces at the front lines. This missile launcher would be immobilized and its sensitive fire control system out of action. Helicopters are particularly vulnerable to MLRS blast fragmentation. These trucks could no longer carry troops or supplies. The cab is shattered, its gas tank pierced, and its transmission destroyed. This tank sustained disabling hits on the engine compartment, which is vulnerable to the M77-shaped charges. 
MLRS is especially effective against personnel targets, both those exposed in the open and those who take shelter inside lightly armored vehicles. The armor of this personnel carrier would not have protected the assault troops inside. This firepower demonstration and the operational test successes led to MLRS certification for fielding by the U.S. Army. And the newly created MLRS production complex near Camden, Arkansas was ready to support system deployment. The Vought Corporation, prime MLRS contractor, is now under a multi-year procurement contract to produce approximately 400,000 rockets and 300 launch vehicles. Also located at Camden are divisions of Atlantic Research Corporation and the Brunswick Corporation. Brunswick's Camden plant produces the lightweight, versatile launch tubes. These tubes, fabricated of fiberglass roving and epoxy resin, allow MLRS rockets to be transported, stored up to 10 years, repeatedly handled in the field, and then launched from the same containers. Internal rails cause the rocket to spin during launch. Once sealed in the tubes, MLRS rockets need no maintenance or crew servicing from the factory to the firing site. At the Atlantic Research Corporation, the large solid propellant rocket motors are fabricated to support the MLRS delivery schedule. After installation in rocket motor cases manufactured by NI Industries Incorporated, the complete rocket motor assemblies are transported less than two kilometers to Vought's MLRS rocket production line. Vought Camden's highly automated production facilities are among the most modern in the world. Here at the rocket assembly and loading plant, the M77 munitions are packaged in foam containers, which are then stacked and inserted into MLRS warheads. After installation of the munitions dispersal mechanism, the warhead assembly is joined to the rocket motor assembly. The rocket assembly are then inserted into a launch pod comprising six Brunswick launch tubes aligned within a Vought assembled support structure. The warhead fuse mechanisms and the motor igniters are then installed. This balance of automated and mechanized manufacturing processes can produce six complete MLRS rockets packaged in a launch ready pod every 18 minutes. Vought's newest manufacturing plant produces the self-propelled launch vehicle, which is assembled with components and assemblies from many sources. The basic carrier vehicle is received from the FMC Corporation and fitted with a Vought manufactured launcher structure, an automated fire control system produced by Norden Systems Incorporated, a launcher drive system from Sperry Vickers Aerospace Marine Division, launcher position determining and aiming alignment systems from the Bendix Corporation, and other components from more than 300 subcontractors located across the United States. MLRS, on time, on target, for the U.S. Army and the armies of the Federal Republic of Germany, the United Kingdom, France, and Italy.